we have done here in response to the COVID-19 crisis is pull together a large number of people that in the last 10 days we've spun up essentially a startup to produce PPE. We are dedicated to providing directly to those who need it most for free, homeless shelters, nurses, hospitals, and other medical facilities. We created these tables that have slots in them where you can lay down almost 20 sheets of fabric, then just cut along the line and you can make masks super quickly. I made a quick prototype with a router, realized that, hey, there's something to this. And the next call was to Danny and College of Alameda a fab lab. Inside of two hours, we had the first prototype. When we have four cutters in here really moving, we can make a ton of masks. Last week, we delivered almost 2,500 mask kits to sewers around the Bay Area. After people at home are done sewing, we're taking them to a co-working space down the street called Phoenix. We are sanitizing everything and packing it up for final delivery. This is 10 days from inception. Most of these people hadn't really seen each other or yeah. you know, known each other before. Yeah. On our way to producing tens of thousands of face masks every week yeah. that has zero funding. This is an entirely volunteer operation. Designers only in Sacramento has donated close to 10,000 yards of fabric. People in here are all volunteers. Sewers are getting their kits from volunteer drivers. Fab Lab and several others around the city donated all the wood for the tables. This space is all donated by Hot Rod Shop. They're a local Alameda business. They had the space available. They're not using it and they've basically just made it available to us. Early on in this process, I identified this facility as a place to receive bulk materials and synced up with a wonderful person on the East Coast who eventually ended up connecting with Coca-Cola. About a week ago, Coca-Cola sent us about 5,000 pounds of bulk plastic, which we were able to convert into roughly 16,000 face shields in about 48 hours. And today, Coca-Cola is dropping off 20 tons of plastic that is gonna be converted into face shields. Roughly be able to get somewhere in the ballpark of 100 to 100. 20,000 face shields out of the 20 tons of plastic that's getting dropped off today. We're now serving as a distribution hub to get that material not only here to the Bay Area, but we're actually going to be reshipping stuff out to Colorado, Oregon, and Washington, and I think folks in Arizona. And in this process of reaching out to the world to say we have plastic and we want to help you turn this into face shields, we've been getting requests from India, from China, and other places that don't have easy access to the material. I think a lot about what innovation is, and it's basically just learning as quickly as you can. The number of things that we have learned over the past week, ranging from sanitization of masks to scaling an operation, transport, just figuring out the mask design and getting instructions out to sewers, it's just extraordinary how quickly it's come together and how exhausting it is to have to learn all day, every day, and solve all these problems. But it sure is rewarding. A great analogy that, I, that I've really been using is, you know, people always say like, hey, you're building the airplane as you're flying it. We're in fact designing the airplane as we're flying it because we don't have enough time to slow down and actually build everything and design it ahead of time. People are dying today and we need to get this stuff out the door as soon as we can. We've been utilizing the College of Alameda Fab Lab, which is, unfortunately, it's closed at the moment, but we have our staff who are allowed to use that facility. They've been able to produce on-demand things that have been able to improve our manufacturing process quite a bit. Staff there are amazing. We all speak the same language, so I can just tell them what I need and start to produce it. What makes the Fab Lab students helpful in this process is we have trained them to not only have the technical skills to manufacture things, but also to be creative, problem solve, to deal with a lot of information, to deal with a lot of ambiguity, and just figure things out. This entire crisis is a massive wake-up call to here in the United States about how we don't have local production capacity and how we need that. This is a national security issue. It is no longer a nice to have or a luxury. It's really important that we have local production capacity for everything we consume, not just the life-saving PPE that we're doing today. I'm super grateful to the Peralta Community Colleges for really understanding that Fab Labs provide value and I'm hoping after this experience we're gonna get a lot more support because we are training people who are prepared to save your life in the moment of crisis. Thank you for watching Peralta News.